the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I am Novice Alexandra from St. Elizabeth Convent. Meat commands us not to God, but every Orthodox housewife knows that food prepared with prayer has a special taste. Come to our convent, taste the food and you will understand that the prayer while making a meal is vital for all who eat it. Today we are preparing a vegan cake with nuts and cinnamon. And we will need 1 cup of roasted walnuts, 3 cups of flour, a half or 1 cup of sugar, 15 grams of vanilla sugar, 1 tablespoon of yeast, 20 grams of cinnamon, 1 half or 2 cups of water, 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. So let's start preparing a vegan cake with a prayer. God bless. Mix a tablespoon of yeast with a half a tablespoon of sugar. Add half a cup of warm water, not hot. Add some flour and mix everything. Cover with a towel and let it sit for 20 minutes. While the sourdough starts rising, crush the nuts for the filling. Add cinnamon and sugar in the crushed walnuts. Cinnamon and sugar should be in equal proportions. You can mix it either with a spoon or with your hands. I prefer to mix it with my hands. The filling is ready. Now let's prepare the dough. Take half a cup of sugar, you can use less if you like. Mix the water with sugar. Add vanilla sugar, vanilla extract. Then add 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Sift the flour but not all of it. Mix half of the flour with water and sugar and add the sourdough starter. It should look frothy like this. Knead the dough and add the rest of the flour. First knead the dough with a spoon, then clean the spoon with your hand and knead the dough with your hand. Dough must be beaten a couple of times in order to remove carbon dioxide and become softer. Knead the dough until it is even and soft. Cover it with a towel and put it in a warm place, away from draft. Place the dough on a cutting board. Since the size of the cutting board is small, divide the dough into two parts and roll it into a rectangle shape. Spread the filling on the dough and wrap the dough like this. Cut the dough into small even pieces. Compress the bottom of the dough, it should be in the shape of a rose. Then put it on an oiled baking sheet. As long as these roses are not baked, we see gaps between them. When baking, all the gaps will connect with each other and there will be an imitation of flour bouquet. We cover the dough for proofing for half an hour. Then put it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Bake for 45 minutes. Depending on the oven, the time may vary from 40 minutes to an hour. Cover the cake with sugar icing. Take 3 or 4 tablespoons of sugar, mix it with boiling water and cover the cake with this mixture. It will acquire gloss and become saturated with sweetness and moisture. This cake can be divided very easily into individual buns. It does not need to be cut into pieces like an ordinary round cake or pie. Dear brothers and sisters, the cake is ready. It will be an adornment of your fast table. Enjoy your meal! Mm -hmm.